name's Artemis, and today I'm going to show you how to be a um, kinky fur. Uh, okay, uh, I'm asexual. What the fuck do I know about kinks? Asexuals can still have kinks. Um, okay, fair enough. Good point. So, what exactly is a kinky fur? Well, it's someone who's part of the furry community. Bit fucking obvious, that one. And they've got a few interests. Not necessarily sexual, but like interests, physical, something like that, that they intertwine with their fursona. It doesn't have to be sexual, just like something else they add into their um, innocent fursona to make it a bit more um, in keeping with their own disgusting urges. So for this video, I did a couple of polls as um, research just to see what exactly the fandom thinks about kinks and all of that disgusting shit. Uh, can we have the results? Where are the results? Yeah, I wrote them on the back of that little leaflet. Are you fucking serious? First a Tesco club card envelope, now a fucking little leaflet. Have you not heard of production value? But this shit, he wasn't actually lying. Oh shit, look, they're selling waffle makers. So the first poll was about kinks, and you said uh, your kinks are mixed in with your furry interests. So, good. That means that we've actually got a basis for a fucking video. Thank the Lord. Obviously, if it was anything else, we could have stopped right there. Roll credits, and, you know, I'll just enjoy getting more subscribers just for actually uploading something for once. Even if Hanzo is still uh, beating me, and he hasn't uploaded anything for fucking ever. Enjoy your hiatus, mate! And the second poll was for NSFW, that's not safe for work, artwork. And, of course, you will fucking love that, don't you, you lewd, sick bastards? Next one was about mursuits, and thank the fucking Lord, most of you don't like them. There is still some justice and, you know, niceness left in the world. Then when I was asking about mores, you said they are okay. Uh, which is, I don't know, pretty generous for what I was expecting. Pause on the other hand, were was sounding great. Which was uh, pretty much on the mark for what I was expecting. So when I probed a little deeper, not like that, on pause, uh, it seems like most of you like foot paws exclusively, which is fair enough. Uh, nobody preferred human feet over foot paws, but then again, it's furries. So, again, that's expected. Uh, a fair chunk of you didn't like either, which was a surprise, and then a few liked both, which, uh, well, they're just greedy fuckers really, aren't they? So I have got some further notes and research here on other kinks, but fuck it! I obviously know everything there is to know about kinks being asexual, and it's about time I shut that knowledge down your throat. Not like that! So, first of all, let's talk about not safe for work artwork, uh, which is pretty easy to explain. Uh, let's say that you've got a nice cute little fursona, a little uh, bunny or deer or something, something sweet and innocent. And, you know, you interact with it, with your interests, like you like tea, so it drinks tea, I mean, who doesn't like tea? Uh, you like little cutesy Japanese things, so it likes that too. Uh, and it's just like a representation of all of the really good and nice and honest parts of your personality. Now, wouldn't you like to see that thing get fucking decimated by a dragon dick twice the size of its fucking body? Or was that you're saying no? Oh wait, no, nobody's saying no. It's one of the easiest ways of becoming a kinky fur uh, by showing off some of your disgustingly lewd artwork to the wank hungry population of fur affinity. True fact, by the way, if you put the safe work filter on fur affinity, there's only three pictures, and two of them are fucking ads. The other best thing about lewd artwork is that it's not your work, so you don't have to do any fucking effort for it. You just have to be the bank, and someone else's talent can get everybody else hard and erect, and then you can profit from it. Next we have mursuits. Now, this is quite a divisive subject. I mean, on the one paw, uh, people don't seem to fucking like them because they're disgusting and gross. Uh, on the other four, people are fucking repulsed by them because they are disgusting and gross. And on the third, um, on the tail, on the tail, uh, some people hate them because they kind of ruin the fandom a little bit by making it all about sex. But apparently some people out there actually seem to like that shit, uh, whether it's wearing one, using one, or looking at videos of one. If you're wondering what they are, they're special fursuits built for the lewdest of lewd acts. And uh, if you think you've never seen one, uh, if you've ever been to a fur meet, you've probably fucking seen one. In fact, you've probably hugged one and had a picture taken with one without even knowing about it. I suppose my opinions on mursuits are a little bit moot. I mean, yes, they're disgusting because they're used for sex, but then again, sex is disgusting and sweaty and horrible. So, it's all kind of in the same basket of... EW! Basically, don't wear it in public and don't think that you can clean it. Only fire can clean the sin from that fucking thing. So next up we've got mores, or as it's, uh, suppose the proper term is... Vor. Uh, I, I actually don't fully understand this one, like, at all. Like, I'm not gonna judge it, it's, it's all cool, I just don't get, like, the practicalities of it at all. So it's furries who like to be eaten or swallowed whole, with, like, giant salivating mouths and tongues and teeth and shit. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool, but I mean, 
How the fuck do you work that into date night? I mean, yeah, some teeth and jaw sets can look pretty bitching if it's done right, but how does it even work? Is, is Pac-Man like the OG porn for these people? So this is the kind of thing that's pretty much limited to artwork. Like, if you want to get into this and mix it in with your persona, then it's pretty much art is the only way you can go. Uh, there are some, like, weird silicon-made things, but, um... Well, they're not really going to get you what you want. And if you think that you see a fursuit that's uh, built towards war with like giant fucking teeth, I'd run for your fucking life. So we've got inflation, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds. Um, how can I explain this one? Uh, you remember this scene from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, right? Yes, of course we all do. It was seared into our minds at childhood. Yeah. Pretty much that, exactly, from what I can gather. Maybe it's a comfort thing, maybe they just like feeling big. I mean, some people like feeling fluffy, so maybe it's just something like that. Who the fuck knows? At least it's a bit more accessible. Some kings are entirely impractical, you'll never be able to act them out in real life. This one, just get a metric fuck ton of latex and helium, and you're pretty much good to go. Okay, the next note I've got down on the laptop uh, says diaper furs. Uh, uh, but no, no, I, I'm not fucking covering that. Okay, if you want to know about diaper furs, all you need to know is rain furs, and I think we all remember that fucking shitstorm. Pun not intended, I swear to god, pun not intended. Can you all pretty much imagine, in your heads, what I mean when I say the words diaper furs? Yes? Good, right, let's fucking leave it at that. And next we come on to the big one, the most abundant kink that's out there. It's paws, yay, paws, and I don't mean like plushy hand paws like I've got, I mean like plushy foot paws that... Well, I've also got. Seems to me like paws is one of those innocent crossover things. Like, a lot of people who like stuff from like a full-blown foot fetish, but don't actually like human feet, tend to just like that stuff with paws. And for some reason, because they're all fluffy and cute, uh, that makes it much more accessible and permissible in public. Well, again, not in public. I don't, I don't think any of this shit is okay in public. Obviously, this one can be a bit easier to expose yourself to. If you're buying a fursuit, it's likely going to come with paws. I mean, obviously it's going to have hands, but it'll probably come with foot paws as well. Uh, the outdoor ones, most people seem to like as well, but it's the indoor ones that everyone fucking loves. In fact, just owning a set of indoor plushy paws is enough to get your attention from, you know, that whole side of the furry community. It's also an umbrella kink, like loads of shit can come under, well not shit actually, but loads of stuff uh, can come under the umbrella of paws. That's where you get things like um, macro and stomping, you know, that sort of stuff, which is basically, you need an explanation of that. It's just giant paws, tiny fur. So you can pretty much do anything you want with paws, uh, and people will seem to like it. So you can do photo shoots, uh, GIFs, you can do fucking videos. In fact, just having them visible in a normal video is enough to entice people along and get them to like your content. Not that I would uh, ever put plushy paws in a video just to boost the views, obviously, no. And there we go, I think that just about covers it. I mean, there's obviously not every kink out there that furries like, uh, because that list would just go on for fucking ever. Uh, furries are good by one simple rule of thumb. Uh, if it's visible or if it exists, one furry at least is going to find it sexually arousing. I think that's good representation of all of the most common, basic and abundant kinks that's going around the furry community. I mean, I suppose we've all heard of them already, at least. What, you're not going to mention your love of slippers? Look, my minor liking of being comfortable and collecting slippers hardly qualifies as something like this, okay? And plus, I don't really like to mix it with all of my public-facing stuff, okay? So why do you keep posting shit like that to Instagram? Uh, uh... And that's all we got time for. Um, I would say that you could use this as a guide on how to be a bit more kinky and, you know, free and welcoming with your stuff. But uh, let's be honest, you're all fucking doing this shit anyway. And that's why I'm taking the piss out of it. Thank you, bye!